Hey, what's up? I pause here real quick. This is Tool Shelf. In this video, I'm going to show you yet another free tool that you can use if you have an Amazon KDP business. If you're selling books online, if you're selling uh, journals, uh, low content, mid content, high content, we got you covered. Okay, so last time, maybe I should make a playlist for this. But last time, last video, I showed you how to use PDF page movers where you where you reorganize your PDF. Let's say you want to delete a page, right? for example, right? So that's where what I showed you here. In this video, I'm going to show you the KDP Keyword Finder. And this does more than just uh, find keywords. It also helps you create your seven slots, right? So if you know when you add a book onto Amazon KDP as a digital ebook and later you sell it as a physical, when you add a book to Amazon KDP, you have the you have to add seven keywords within your within within these seven different slots. This tool allows you to save them during uh, while you have this open, and you can actually use different keywords, save them into the different uh, seven slots, so th so that you can later open up Amazon KDP and add those keywords. Let me show you what I mean. Better if I show you by example, right? So um, I opened up um, Tool Shelf KDP Keyword Finder. Okay, let's um, let's go with um, I don't know unicorn coloring book. Okay, and uh, English US generate keywords. Okay, and you have all these keywords here. Very simple. Check this out. You want to go to the bottom here, and you just choose the keywords you want. But let's, I, I, I like these long tail ones, like unicorn coloring book for kids ages 48. So I'm going to uh, click that and I got slot one done, right? I'm going to go to slot two and check this out. Wait, let's go to back to slot one. I want to show you. This is slot one, one of seven, right? One of the keywords that you can see it actually gets search value. Let's go back up here and let's put in um, kawaii coloring book because kawaii is connected to unicorn coloring. Usually if it's a unicorn coloring book, it's also a kawaii coloring book. Could generate keywords, looking for those long tail ones, um, cute animals coloring book for kids. Actually, I'm gonna go here, slot two, copy that, go to slot three, and I also want um, a kawaii coloring book. Uh, let me see. Kawaii coloring book nearby, cute coloring books for adults nearby, kawaii coloring books. Kawaii coloring books near me. No, no, no. Uh, coloring. Mm, let's go with. Uh, no, not cute and groovy. Let's go with unicorn. And let's go with this one. Color, coloring books for kids. No. Kawaii coloring books. Let's go with that. Okay. What's another type of keyword that's related? Now, remember, when you're adding a keyword on the Amazon KDP, uh, when you're using those seven slots, you don't want to keyword stuff and use the same keyword over and over again. You don't want to do that. You want to use related keywords, right? So uh, let's put in another one. Let's put in kids kids activity. You, you, let's put unicorn activity book. Let's see what this yields. Any, any information? Yes, unicorn activity book for kids. I'm going to go to slot four and use that. Let's see if there's something else here of interest. Unicorn books are eight years old. I'm going to use that. Unicorn books are eight years old. Boom, like that. Don't use any copyright. So we have Unicorn Academy. It sounds like a copyright word. Do not use that keyword. Let's go to the next slot. We got two more to fill. Unicorn Magic. I like this. Scholastic. Mm, that's an, like an academic book. I don't think that's a good idea. How to catch a mermaid. Let's go back up here. Let's put in a fun unicorn book. Fun unicorn book, but generate and funny unicorn book for kids. I like that. Unicorn books for 12 years old. Fun unicorn book, funny unicorn books. Mm -hmm. Let me see. Crinkle book. Uh, let's go with um, funny unicorn book. And last one here. Hawaii, or actually, let's go with Hige. Hi, what's this style called? Hige coloring book. And see what comes up. Hige is another type of Kawaii style. It's from the Netherlands. It's from Amsterdam, I believe. Um, you know, I mean, you might know of Miffy. Miffy is this uh, 
he I don't know pronounce he is it he or hege uh it's type of um um uh coloring sorry coloring book sorry not coloring book but art style illustration excuse me it's a type of illustration style used in Amsterdam um it was like in, in my opinion the first style the first type of kawaii type of design and and um illustration right so let's go with uh for kids you see here he get coloring book Christmas mm, a lot of Christmas oh by the way these searches are live searches so there's a ton of Christmas stuff popping off right now within my keyword tool here because these are live searches yeah uh let me see let me just go with he coloring book like that okay so I have my seven look look at this I have my seven slots filled right so when you go to Amazon KDP and you start adding a book, you just have them right here. Don't close this page. Don't refresh this page until you add your book. You just copy and paste some of these keywords, and there you go. Really cool stuff. Okay, um, so yeah, in the next video, I'm going to show you how to use the AI text detector, okay? Now, this is a very simple tool to help you discover if a body of work or a, some paragraphs or a story is AI or not, okay? See you in the next video. Hey, don't forget to share this, by the way. If you like it, share it 100% for free. And if you like this video, don't forget to like and subscribe. Be good. Take care and see you in the next one.